Coach, another week with 100 yards with Chuck Peori. Let's get started. Uh, another big win for this program uh, down at Richmond. You have to be very pleased with the way this team played. Yeah, uh, to go on the road and get a uh, win in the South versus a ranked team um, is taking care of business. You talked about it after the game, but you've talked about it before. Winning Virginia is key to winning this league. 2-0 in Virginia this year uh, against those t very good teams. Uh, and now you, you're, you're in good shape in this conference. Yeah, I mean, when you, when you really look at your schedule, we happen to have two games down in the south and um, quality football down there. And, um, you know, mo a lot of the times, those are two or three of the teams that make the playoffs at the end of the year. So it was a goal of ours to go down both times, River Mary and uh, just do with Richmond to win that football game for the overall part of what we're looking as our goals. We could probably uh, record this and play it over and over again, but the way that, that Ray Bolden and, and Joe Carbone have been connecting this year has, has really got to please you. Yeah, considering Ray didn't practice for 10 days after the New Hampshire game with the double hamstring issue and very limited reps on Thursday, and um, you know he played like a man on Saturday, and um, you know Joe was a little off in the early part of the game. Um, but when he got hot, him and Ray really put a show on. And then defensively, you know, he gave up some yards again, but when it really mattered, that defense put some stops up. Yeah, we had an awesome fourth quarter on defense, you know. Um, we had two three and outs um, that attained field position right after we scored to go up by 10. And really, we got the game manageable down to, you know, about five and a half minutes left to go. They needed to go 89, 90 yards. They did, and they're good enough, too but didn't leave them enough time on the clock. We didn't let any plays behind us, kept the big plays to a minimum, and um, you know we held them well under their average. Turn the page, Albany week. It's gotta be a very special week for you, given that you're an Albany alum and played football there. Uh, just talk about what the emotions of this week mean to you. Well, it's always a little bit more emotional when I go up there than when we play here, but um, yeah, I mean, Albany gave me my opportunity as a college athlete. Uh, to get an education, and certainly I started my coaching career there also, which is, you know, plus the fact. But, um, you know, this is more about Stony Brook and Stony Brook football program moving to its next step, which is hopefully um, being successful on Saturday. And then it's the Golden Apple again. Uh, you know, you guys won it the first year. They claimed it last year, so it's going to be back in the building. And, and how important is it for you to hoist that after this game? Yeah, well, I think, you know, once again, you know, playing well on Saturday is our number one goal. And if you play well, hopefully we'll have the opportunity to have that on our side for the next um, year. All right. It's the Empire Clash, 1 o'clock here in Laval Stadium on Saturday.